This circuit builder app does cost $1.99, but I think it's really worth it for, again, a variety of ages to use. It has a lot of really neat features, and it's a really great way to teach students about circuits and electrical connectivity without having to run the risk of electrocution. So uh, you'll see over on the left hand side you can there are a bunch of different operations you can do and I'll just show you what a simple circuit construction would look like. So I'm going to tap on the construct components button and here you'll find all the components that you'll need to make your circuit. And you also have different things to make your circuit more interesting as well. So I'm going to choose a battery, so I tapped on battery, and you can see that there's a variety of different batteries. I'll just choose a little 1.5 volt and put it on my screen. So I have my battery in place, and you can move it. If you don't want it anymore, you can drag it over to the trash can. I'm going to tap on components. I know I'm going to want a lamp, so I'll pick a red bulb. And I'm going to do a switch. I'll tap on switches. I'm just going to do a simple on off switch. So once you have all of your components put through, you can actually go ahead and build all of your different wires that you're going to put between all of the components that you just did. In order to run your wires, you're going to tap on your tools button and choose connect. So this is where I'm going to start connecting my circuit. So you just draw lines with your fingers to represent the wires. And you'll see I'm attaching them to the little knob and ends here. So once you have a complete circuit, you can test it. So I'm going to tap operate and I'm going to tap my switch button. And you'll see I have a problem. My light bulb isn't turning on. So it's a really great way to make students troubleshoot. In this case, I know what's wrong. And the problem was that I chose a lamp and you'll see the red one, I needed 12 volt volts of electricity to operate it, and you'll look at my battery and it's only 1.5. So to fix that problem, it's very easy. I'll just click on my 12 volt battery, I'll pull this one out and toss it, and I'll put my 12 volt battery into display. So I will need to go to my tools and connectors to make my connectors a little bit longer, and now I can press operate and test it again. One thing you also have to remember in this one is you'll see on the 12 volt battery that the connectors are not connected to make it live. So I'm going to tap on that to make it live and now I can test the circuit and you'll see that my light bulb is on. So it's a really nice app because you do have to troubleshoot just like you would on a real circuit and it also puts it into everyone's hands fairly inexpensively. Sometimes circuit kits can be fairly expensive. So this is a way that students can test and play with it for $1.99 for your entire classroom.